On today's show, how to stop car hackers cold. BMW denies any interest in working with Tesla, and Ford could make another run at the 24 Hours of Le Mans. All that and more coming right up on AutoLine Daily. This is AutoLine Daily for December 2nd, 2014. And today is the day that automakers release sales figures for November in the American market. We will have our full report in tomorrow's show, but analysts are pretty bullish. In fact, some of them are super optimistic. TrueCar, Barclays, and Cars.com predict the SAR will hit 17 million units. UBS, IHS, LMC, and RBC predict a SAR of 16.6 million. By the end of today, we'll know who's right, so be sure to tune in tomorrow. Oh no, say it ain't so! Reports out of Australia say Ford's going to drop out of the V8 Supercar Racing Series at the end of next year. But that's about the same time that Ford will stop manufacturing the Falcon in Australia, which is the car that it races in that series. But Autoblog reports Lexus is considering getting into the series, probably with the RCF. You know, those V8 supercars have attracted a global fan base, and the series has even been testing the waters outside of Australia with races in Austin, Texas, and in Abu Dhabi. So why would Ford drop out of such a cool series where it has so much heritage? We think it's because the Blue Oval is rumored to be preparing another assault on the 24 Hours of Le Mans in 2016 in the GTE class. And that would be the 50th anniversary of its first overall win there with the GT40. A street legal version of the race car that's coming is also rumored to make its debut at the Detroit Auto Show in about another month. And that would make it the successor to the late Ford GT. Still to come, BMW says Elon Musk is making up stories. Mercedes is chastised by the NLRB and how to stop car hackers cold in one easy lesson. Auto Line Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone, your journey, our passion. And by Dow Automotive Systems, improving durability and increasing design flexibility with Betamate structural adhesives at DowBetamate.com. The National Labor Relations Board has opened the door for union representation at Mercedes' plant in Alabama. The agency is forcing Mercedes to remove a rule from its employee handbook that forbids workers from talking about unions during break time. The UAW is now calling on Mercedes to respect workers' rights to organize. The plant is the only one worldwide in the Daimler universe that does not offer worker representation. The UAW has been making progress in its effort to represent VW workers in Tennessee, and now it's got its foot in the door in Alabama. So the next likely target is that other German automaker, BMW. In an interview with Germany's Der Spiegel last week, Elon Musk said he was in talks with BMW. It sounded like BMW was interested in Tesla's battery technology, while Tesla was interested in BMW's knowledge of carbon fiber. But BMW says, "Uh uh-uh, it has no plans to work with Tesla. In fact, BMW went as far to say that Musk just said that for PR purposes to fill the void after ending its partnerships with Daimler and Toyota. And the proof that this might be true, BMW just announced that it will offer plug-in hybrid versions of its core brand models using the same in-house technology that it has in the i3 and i8. It will first be showing off a 3-series plug-in hybrid prototype and a new generation of hybrid vehicle concepts. The 3-series prototype will combine a turbocharged 4-cylinder gasoline engine with an electric motor and high-voltage battery. But don't think that BMW is doing this because that's what its customers are asking for. This is directly in reaction to stricter CO2 regulations in both the United States and in Europe. Coming up next, how to stop car hackers cold with a cheap and easy solution. Here's another great thing about the all-around performance of our Dueler tires. A comfortable, quiet ride. 
Oh. At Bridgestone, our passion for performance knows no bounds. There's more car news and industry insight from the AutoLine Network every day. Take a moment to click that subscribe button. You'll never miss another AutoLine episode. Recently, an Israeli software company called TowerSec visited the AutoLine studios. It claims it's come up with a software patch that can be added to any electronic control unit or ECU on any part of a car that can stop hackers cold. Yuval Weissglass is the CEO of the company and he explains what their software can do. We have a, a piece of software that we can retrofit into existing vehicles so we can put that on existing ECUs inside those vehicles and by doing so we are able to monitor the communication inside the vehicle and also the external communication that is coming to the vehicle and stop attacks in real time. They hacked into the ECU of a vehicle they brought to our studio using a hacking device called a Raspberry Pi, which by the way, anyone can buy online for about $40. And they showed how hackers can then take control of different parts of a car and how their software can stop it. We've replaced the BCM that is installed in this car, the body control module, with the same BCM, what this one, this stunt one is retrofitted with our software installed on it. So it acts as a BCM, but at the same time, it is able to monitor the traffic, detect threats, and mitigate them. So I'm going to launch the same attack that I was launching before by, you, by pressing that button. So you can see that we are changing the speed and the gauges go up. Um, and you can see that we are detected as, as threats and we are sending alerts showing that we've detected spoof messages. Now we can do that again, but this time we'll change the policy saying that we don't just want to be able to, to send an alert, but we also want to block those malicious packets from affecting the vehicle. So I'm going to press that button again, and now you can see that there's no effect on the vehicle, but at the same time, we are able to detect those threats and send an alert that somebody is trying to attack the car. So by doing so, we also protected the car and make, um, uh, you know, prevented the malicious attacker from doing what he's uh, supposed to do. But we are also a a able to inform the, the OEM that something like that happened. TowerSec is now showing its software to different car companies and says it can make a car pretty much hack-proof for less than $10. If they're right, this could be a breakthrough for the automotive industry. Other competitive systems are hardware-based and could cost over $100. You know, one thing I really like about TowerSec is that they asked us not to reveal what kind of car they hacked into. That stands in contrast to others who are practically trying to embarrass automakers by publicly showing the cars that they hacked into. I think TowerSec's discreet approach is going to win it accolades in the industry. And that wraps up today's report. Thanks for watching.